Okay, we're going to do a quick video on using PureVision, creating a project, and uh, exporting a form that we've made in it. So I'm going to start by creating a folder on our desktop called My Project. So that's where we're going to save uh, save things when we're done. And I'm going to open up PureVision. Our default interface gives us a blank form to work on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create text gadget. I'm going to drag it to where I want to put it. And I do that by just right clicking on the mouse button. Right click and drag. Do the same with a string gadget. Right click, drag. I want to resize it. I click the middle mouse button. It'll toggle from move to size. So when I drag it with the right mouse button, it sizes it now. So I'll click the middle, middle mouse button. Toggle back to move. Add a button. Right click drag and I'm just going to resize our form here so it looks all nice. Now you don't have to use the middle mouse button you can use the uh, space bar that'll also toggle between move and size or you can just click the button click the icon here in the menu bar toggle it. Okay so our text uh, text gadget here I want people to know what to do here, so I'm going to say input, so people know that this is an input box. Now in the string gadget, I want to enter a name, so I'm going to I'm going to just label this name so I know what it's know what this gadget is later. And the same with the button, I want this to be an OK button, so I'm going to just call it OK, and I want it to display the name OK to anyone who's using it. And our main form, instead of form 1, I'm going to call it main, just so I know that this is my main form that I'm working with. And the text, we're going to say user login. Now, when people see this form here, they know what it's all about. Now I'm going to go to file, save as, I'm going to save this project. Now the uh, folder that I made on the desktop called My Project. I'm going to save it in there. So I'm just going to call it Login. So now we have our project saved on our desktop and it's called Login. Now when I export this, or just to do that now, Export Project, gives me uh, some options. I only have one form in the project called main and it's checked off by default. So what this means is if I were to select generate event loop code it's going to create an event loop for this form here. And the very first time you export your project that's what you want to do. You want to create an event loop but only the first time. If you ever to come back and make modifications to this, you would no longer check this. You no longer generate an event loop. You only do it once, and that's the first time that you export your form. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to say export with an event loop. And it's going to export it into my project folder on the desktop. Let login, save. So now if we take a quick look at our desktop here, go to my project, <coughs> you'll see that it's Pure Vision has created three files. Login, which is our main event loop. It's created a constant file that contains all the constants needed to build this form, this project, and a Windows file, which uh, contains all the all the various code to create our form from our project. Now if we open uh, the main main file here in pure basic you'll see that there's there's an event loop that is created. Now the way uh, the way pure vision names things the window which is our our main form forms the forms are called windows. So it labels what it is, and then the name of it. So th this is a window, 
and it's from the form main. Now any gadgets, they'll be labeled gadget in the form main, and there's the name of it. So if you're ever writing code later, you know if you're working with a gadget or a window and where that particular gadget belongs, what form it belongs to. So just remember that if you're ever if you're ever editing your project, never touch the windows or constants. That's what Pure Vision works with. Don't edit those manually. If you ever edit those manually, when you export from Pure Vision again, it'll overwrite them and it'll erase any changes you've made. So only only manually edit the login file. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add one more button. Take it down here. And we want it to say, we want this to be an exit button. So we'll call it exit. We want it to display the name exit on it. Now, when I export this project, Make sure that this is unchecked. We don't want an event loop anymore, because if we make any changes to our code, we'll erase them in our main loop. So never, 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 ever generate an event loop if you've already done that the very first time you've exported your project. We export. Just hit save, because it's the same name. And it's going to update files for us. So let's look back at uh, back to our desktop here. My project. Go into our main file. Now we added we added an exit button. So if I want to do anything with that button, write in my own code here. We know that it's a gadget. We know that it's part of the main form, and we labeled it exit. <coughs> so now, when we run this project, we have a we have some code that will take into account that there's an exit button there, and that it'll do something when it's pressed. But the other thing too is. You had a whole bunch of new new uh, gadgets that you've added, and you don't want to type everything manually. You can also press this button up here, and it'll do a it'll do a quick debug for you. And this is what it would this is what it would uh, generate for you if you were creating an event loops from scratch. And you'll notice there's the there's the new button that we've added. We can also just take that, copy it out of there paste it into our main file. And that's an easier way to just have code entered in for you. Just copy and paste. 